See, Luke, there are those in the Liberal Party in New South Wales um, who want to conduct a similar experiment. There was a breakout in Cabinet. We read about it in the newspapers. Three Cabinet ministers said, let her rip. I mean, is, is the bottom line here that if you're the sort of Liberal who says, I believe in small government, you believe in a big pandemic? I wouldn't say that. I think that there's probably more frustration that the, the end is not in sight yet. And it comes down to where we want to be as a nation and what is that level of risk we're willing to take now. Following the health advice, Australia has taken a very high threshold in terms of public health and safety, which I think is the right decision to take. But only because the Premier of New South Wales seemed to wrestle three Cabinet Ministers to the ground and say, we are not doing it. Mean, there was a front page report in this city last week that said, we want, we want to lift this lockdown for economic reasons in New South Wales. And there was a strong push, apparently, by the Treasurer of New South Wales to let a rip. Small government, big pandemic. Look, you, there, there, there are those reports, but you need to look at, take everything on the whole, which is most state premiers are adopting a very similar But I'm talking approach. about the Liberal Party here. Yeah, but look at South Australia with Stephen Marshall or Peter Gutwin in, in Tasmania or the Prime Minister through National Cabinet and Gladys Berejiklian. You can say look at the Liberal Party and then say, well, Gladys Berejiklian isn't part of the Liberal Party. She's the Premier of New South Wales and the Parliamentary Leader of the Liberal Party. Well, so, is, the, is this the death knell for the letter rip, small government, big pandemic in the Liberal Party? I, uh, I, uh, I don't think that's even a proposition within the Liberal Party. Well, or certainly probably. it's a proposition within the Liberal Party. It may be the view of, of a couple of Cabinet Ministers around the table, but you know, let's look at what is actually happening, which is not the Liberal Party governing here, it's the, the, the democratically elected government of New South Wales under Gladys Berejiklian's leadership and John Barillaro as a National um, Party Member of Parliament as well. And what, what? what we need to remember is that under all the projections, Australia was never going to be here in July 2021, having being in the position where we could open up the economy.